don't stop Turn it on, turn it up, make it louder I don't want to miss a single thing I want to hear every melody Hi guys and welcome back to the Color Junkies channel. So today we are going to talk about how he tried to talk to my sister too. A little history on this story. So I was talking to this boy and this guy and I was all caught up in the romance at first because the guy lived on the same kind of across the street from me so i was like, like oh that's cute he's a black boy we're gonna have like we're gonna fall in love it's gonna be amazing blah the blah the blah the blah okay phil 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 don't ever get caught up in a romance when you're having a relationship try to get caught up in who the person is and getting to know the person but i was young the boy we used to talk all the time and we would be friendly and stuff and then it got, you know, a little romantic and stuff like that. But the boy was like a pig. Like, he was a dog. Okay, I understand, guys. You guys want to... No! But, y'all need to calm down, okay? It is not that serious. It is not that serious. You guys need to, like, understand that we are females. We like to be wanted. We like to, you know, feel like you appreciate us as much as we appreciate you not that if we're not giving up the <coughs> then you don't want us like come on so anyway so i was feeling like you know he didn't basically appreciate me for me he just wanted the <coughs> so you know many a times i cut him loose and we always had that relationship whether we got back on and we was off and we was on at first we dated but the dating didn't work out and then after we just used to talk and he was like my friends with benefits whatever you may call it he was just like that dude but he was in my mind he was always somebody that i truly cared about even though i didn't want him as a boyfriend he was somebody that i cared about so blah 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 years passed and he had a kid and i still i still was nice to him i stuck with him after he had the kid i wasn't on a romance level with him but we we would talk because i in my head i was waiting for him to mature like when you're young all you want is to bang the girl but when you mature you know you start seeing that okay this girl may be worth it you know maybe she's a keeper maybe she's been here with me through thick and thin maybe i should keep her at least that's what i thought guys think about is it no he didn't think about that shit okay he still he was just after the chase and sometimes girls when you tell a guy no and they still not all dudes but they still keep talking to you and talking about it they feel like you're a challenge you because you said no to them they're gonna make you say yes and you're going the game is much sweeter because you said no pretty much but anyway so i've never seen myself like that because i truly cared about the boy we were talking like whatever i considered us to be friends i guess not so um, you know, we would always be on and off. Yeah, we had, he probably had girls on the side. And I probably had my dudes that I was talking to at the moment or dating, you know. Dudes on the side that I was just, but I was dating. And, but at the end of the day, he was always that dude that I had respect for. You know what I mean? I would never curse him out. I would never violate him in any way. He was just that that dude and you know when, when they say everybody gets hurt it's true until you find that guy that's gonna be your soulmate your husband your whatever you're going to get hurt and being hurt comes with the relationship when you're in a relationship with somebody when you go into a relationship with somebody you're going in that relationship knowing that you're gonna risk getting hurt with this person so stop telling people oh i don't want to get hurt relationships are about well, they're not about getting hurt, but they're about 
learning from my experience and you might get hurt in it so you just have to take that if you want to be in a relationship you have to think that you might get hurt in that relationship that's just how it works until you find that guy that you really love and true like y'all still gonna go through your ups and downs so anyway this guy wasn't the guy that i like seen myself married with like i said i was still talking to other people he was still doing him but i had respect for the dude i had respect for him and i i, I thought we were friends so anyway we started talking once i was back in atlanta once i got to atlanta it was kind of like okay tiana you going too far he was more like okay you know how the heck are we gonna work it out because i'm no longer in the state I didn't care because to me it's all about following my dreams doing what the heck I believe in and not making no man stop me from doing Tiana so that's how I was that's how my mindset was even though it did put a damper on it we stopped talking for a while I started talking to whoever I was talking to hanging out with people nothing serious anyway and then you know we started talking once again we started talking once again and you know we would talk and text and stuff like saying that he was gonna come see me and remember this relationship let's just say this whole whatever you would call it was years okay like this me and him on and off talking not talking relationships no relationships this been on for years since i was like maybe around 15 16 okay so now i'm 21 and we were still talking when i was 21 okay so this has been a good six year type friendship that i i thought it was a friendship regardless if it was romantic stuff in it intimacy in it to me it was a friendship i respected him we were friends like i keep saying anyway right so you know he in atlanta he would text me i was like you know you should come down i have an apartment we can hang out you know all of that stuff like that i'd be like you know you should come to georgia you know we can hang out we can go see things it'll be a nice little experience little vacation for you because you know he was taking care of his daughter he was also working blah 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 so then you know he's like oh what we gonna do when a guy asks you what we gonna do, first of all, I'm inviting you to another state. Can't you wait till you get there to be like, what we gonna do? Instead, you asking that over texting. So now I know you only after one thing, and that's the. <coughs> so I'm like, what you mean, what we gonna do? I'm not having <coughs> with you. Like, I'm not having sex with you. You better get this straight before you even get here. I'm not doing it. So, you know, he's like, oh, whatever. You know, he gets defensive. He's like, mad or whatever so i'm like okay now i'm leaving you on scene red i'm not writing back to you you're a dub you know what i mean because after all these years you still talking about that one thing like get over yourself so you know um he wrote me back and he was like i'm sorry i apologize blah 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 i was just joking blah 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 bullshit okay if you was just joking you would have never said it like who jokes like that do i joke with you like that so anyway, so I was like, okay, whatever. I left him alone. We never talked after that, blah, blah, blah. Came back to NYC, seen him, you know, whatever. I swore he seen me, but I don't know if he seen me. I just know I seen him. And then that same night, me and my sister's hanging out. My little sister, she's 16. My little sister, the one that's usually on my channel, you know, she, she were hanging out. And he texts her, first of all, he writes her on Facebook. Usually, like, he haven't, well, we don't contact from Facebook. We have not, every time we were talking, it was through something else. You know, like another social media, maybe phone numbers, stuff like that. He haven't used text messages. We haven't used Facebook since, like, four years ago you know like i haven't spoke to him through facebook through four years ago and the only reason why my sister has him on facebook is because sometimes reach him through facebook or her facebook or sometimes she'll reach he'll reach me through her facebook so it was kind of like that you know like if i'm in upstate college and he can't reach me he'll you know talk to my sister and be like oh where she at blah 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 that type of stuff that's the only reason why she had her on facebook but anyway so he hits her up and he's like hey 
So she's like, hey, mind I'm sitting right next to her while all of this is happening. So she's like, Tiana, look at this. Like, why is he writing me? And I'm like, oh, okay. So then she's like, um, what should I say? So I'm like, okay, let me give, let me, you know, give it to me. I'm going to act like I'm you and we're going to see what he wants. So pretty much I'm texting him the whole time. He's like, oh, um, I wish I had it, but I, you know, when your feelings are hurt, you, you delete shit. So yeah. But anyway, I was just like, um, I'm like, Hey, what's up? He's like, Oh, do you know how to braid? bullshit he's like she's like no i don't know how to braid and he's like he says something on the cans of oh because i'm looking for somebody to braid my hair and she's like oh well i don't know how to braid but i'm saying that so i'm basically texting him and i'm like oh well i don't know how to braid and he's like oh well what are you doing and she's like nothing why would he like why and he's like oh um because you know you you're getting to the age now and i would like to talk to you or whatever boy if you don't get so i'm like i'm reading it but like i'm still in shock because guys even though even though i came on here and i'm i'm telling this story it it sucks because even though that wasn't somebody that I necessarily seen myself dating, I seen us having a friendship. And sometimes boys, I, I don't want to friend zone him. Like if it came to that purpose where we were in a point where like, of course, I used to talk to you. So there's sexual, you know, like there's sexual tension there. I still like used to like him and stuff like that. So even though we i seen us as friends if it ever went there i would i didn't have a problem with it you know but you know so he was just talking to her about it or whatever he was like you know he said that and i'm like okay like what the hell and i'm like being i'm getting pissed now because i'm like why would he do some shit like that and then i just seen him too so what the freak so i feel like he's seen me and he's trying to do this shit for spite you know what i mean but then you can't be with somebody like that and then I'm thinking to myself, too, why would he do that to my sister? Like, my younger sister. If you see her, you see me. We're like two peeps in a pot. We're always together. Unless I'm up in college or doing something else. You know what I mean? But we're always together. So, like, maybe a friend if he wanted to low-key get away with it. But a sister, a relative, like, somebody that's really close to me. So, I just feel like he's doing that for spite and... In all actuality, his plans failed because my sister's not stupid. It's not like she's not going to tell me. But anyway, yeah, so that was, you know, that's just how it went down. I mean, now I have no respect for this dude. Like, if I see him, we won't say nothing to each other. And it's kind of hard because, like, like I said, he lives right across the street from me. So, yeah, I do see him walking around and stuff like that. But, like, now it would never. And it's crazy because I felt like... I feel like I settled for him. And this is what you get when you settle for somebody, guys. Like, honestly, girls, don't let nobody be like, oh, let's Netflix and chill and all that bull crap. Like, if you want a dude and you're ready for a serious relationship, don't make, just because you like a guy, make him talk you out of being in a serious relationship and be friends with benefits. <sighs> Karma is a bitch and it comes around tenfold. So that's all I got to say. I'm going to leave his, his karma up to God. And so, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in my next. Bye, junkies.